Vertical Detroit, Michigan's first wine centric restaurant, bar and retail space, and they just opened their doors last week. And I'm joined by the owner Remy Lutfi and the head chef Alex Knezovic. Now you guys at Vertical Detroit, it's a new idea. You're telling me you're infusing kind of wine pairings into all of your dishes, right? Correct, correct. Uh, we're Michigan's first wine centric restaurant. Yeah. Um, we're very excited to be here. Uh, we have some great selections too that'll pair well with Chef's Dish. So, Alex, what are you going to make for us today? Today, we have our version of steak and eggs, uh, filet with yeah. a little um, like diced potatoes, tomatoes, caramelized onions, and a little veal demi glace. Wow, that sounds fantastic this morning. Tell us, uh, show us, get started here. How All are we right. Doing this? So, we have our tenderloin right here. We're just going to season that. Yeah, maybe if you're waking up eating breakfast, this might be a little bit better than just the scrambled <laughs> eggs, right? <laughs> Definitely, Definitely. I can guarantee you. Yeah. We got our well-seasoned cast iron pan. Yes. You do these wine pairings. Tell us how, how you make that happen. How can people understand the wine pairings? You know, we're super excited because we have about 52 wines by the glass right now, over 500 wines on our wine list, also a large retail space, um, entirely wine in there. Um, so, you know, my family has been in the wine business for years and yeah. we've been able to work with small suppliers and family owned properties to source some great, great wine and now bring it to Detroit. So it's really cool because maybe if you're a little bit intimidated by wine, the idea is you can go here and figure out the best way to pair it with things, maybe learn a little bit about it, and then you can come do it at home if you want to, Definitely, right? Definitely, 100%. So we have wines uh, for people that are really in the know and also wines that you you know, are less intimidating, can take that intimidation factor out of it. So a dish like this, I know it's breakfast time for some most people, but what kind of wine would we drink with this? You know, I would recommend some of these wines we have here. Um, good friends of ours, Tom Chelani, uh, Chelani Tenacious, mm -hmm. uh, Red Blend from Napa Valley. We also have uh, Corbin Cameron, uh, Cuvée Kristen, which is a Merlot-based blend, um, all five Bordeaux varietals. And then we also have a really cool Spanish wine, Muga Rioja Especial, um, just beautiful. All really subtle, have, excuse me, some finesse, yeah. but also will stand up to the the so chef, of the meat here. what are we putting in here right now? What is that? So over here we got some diced potatoes. We're going to crisp it up in a pan a little bit. Uh, caramelized onions that I'm going to finish with the tomatoes and our veal demi glace. Oh wow, sounds fantastic. Again, wine pairings like this are really important. What kind of, why does the flavors, how do they blend? Why do you pick those wines? You want things that complement one another but don't overpower. Um, it's you know, very important to taste the flavors of the food, but also see the nuances in the wine. Yeah, I mean, that's hard for people to understand because it's like you say, oh, okay, white wine with fish. Like that's basically like a basic thing we get. Definitely. But why? Why is that? You know, because you want good acidity to balance out the flavors of the fish. Typically, um, for me, wine needs to have a balance of sugar and acidity. That's really what makes it. So especially for something well. like steak, it's important to have a red wine. Very much so. I mean, you want something, like I said, that will stand up to the flavor of the meat, but not overpower. So these wines all have enough fruit and balance, mm -hmm. but they're not over the top by any means. All right. So you guys are plating this. What is this? These are the, it's my plate on like home fries. Yeah, like a steak and egg and potatoes Exactly, type of deal here. exactly. This has got caramelized onions and demi gloss. Yes, it smells very delicious. Little tomato and chive. Yeah. And I like how you guys use these boards as plates. That's pretty different looking and it's kind of part of the steak, I guess, atmosphere here. You want to have very much so. And you know, we do use uh, Reclaim Detroit for all of our charcuterie boards and all of our tables throughout oh. the restaurant. So try and using as many, you know, Detroit based companies as possible. Yeah, keeping it local, even with the food and the products here. That's great. Wonderful to hear. The quail egg, the beautiful quail egg. Oh, oh. no, don't oh, drop it. So nice. There it is. All right. There we go. Very beautiful. We're going to take a moment here to cut into this and see what it tastes like. Bring it on over here. So, when you have a plate like this, there's not a lot of room on our table here, but the steak and eggs is something that, um, oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be really difficult to uh, try it. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just give these potatoes a little bit of a try. Hopefully, it's not too hot. Mmm. Thank you. Delicious flavors. I can really tell you've got a lot of different pieces and elements into that. Awesome. And the wine will be a wonderful addition to that. Maybe a little later in the day. Of course. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you so Appreciate much for having it. us. Thank you.